highly success. This was meant to be an IndyCar movie review on Charlie's Angels, the current 2019 version, but I didn't like the outcome, so I'm doing it again. Charlie's Angels stars Kristen Stewart, Naomi Scott, Anna Belinska, Elizabeth Banks, and Patrick Stewart. Banks also wrote the script and directed the movie in addition to playing Bosley. Overall, this is the Charlie's Angel film that incorporates the whole history of all the angels, TV, movies, everything. Well, well, maybe not everything, but TVs and movies. The plot is that Anna Belinska's character works at a company and she just invented a form of green technology that can power cities without fossil fuels, but her tank has a fatal flaw that can be exploited. She wants to fix it, but in order to do so, she needs the angel's help to get back into her lab. But once they do that, then of the trouble starts. By now, the Charles Townsend Agency has grown into a multinational detective agency just instead of just one agency in California. There are many Bosleys with seemingly unlimited resources. They have cars, like most of them are Volkswagens, like Audis, and uh, Lambos, Volkswagen owns Lamborghini, but also I've seen them roll around in a Range Rover, you know, in a big Range Rover. And so it's just as classy as it used to be. <laughs> this Journey's Angels is well, it's an action company like the last two movies, Charlie's Angels and Charlie's Angels Fall Throttle. The original TV show wasn't a comedy, it was a straight detective show. But I like the humor in the first two movies better. I know other people in the theater laugh at it, but it just, maybe I'm too old. <laughs> anyway, what I liked about the new one was the fresh, clean look of the footage, how real the women of Charlie's Angels were, and the action wasn't as cheesy as the first two movies. In the Drew Barrymore Angel movies, the Angels acted like sorority girls with muscle, giggling and going through relationship pains like with Madeline Black and Tom, Tom Green. Drew Barrymore was married to Tom Green for a while. In the new one, they wanted to be taken seriously and most of the bad guys didn't think the women were smart enough and treated them like a waste of time. That's how you can tell whether you got a good man. I like the acting, especially Kristen Stewart's acting. She presented as a tomboy with a playful, forgetful side. Naomi Scott was a badass sniper, and Anna Belinska was a new kid on the block. She was an angel who was finding her footing. I thought this was a great twist because I too often find that people treat me like I'm a waste of time. You know, because of the voice, you know. That's one of the reasons why I'm in speech. I'm not talking about my friends or family at all, but just random people I encounter, like at a bank. These are just random people who don't really know me and maybe 
Some of them, not all of them, some of them have a superiority complex. <laughs> I don't know, but that's the way it is <laughs> for now. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's talk about tying the movies and the shows together. There were two movies, two shows. 2000, 2003, for the movies, shows was 1976. And one that only had seven episodes in 2011. I like that one. There were multiple instances of tying different inceptions of the angels together. Sometimes it was webcam chats when you caught glimpses of people like Lucy Liu. Sometimes it was through setups like when Kristen Stewart chased after a, a dream wagon on horseback, which happened in both of the TV series. But the closet, like, uh, you know, the dreams want to have a closet thing. Oh, here are your guns. Here's your costume. Here your tools. That was the big group of you because they had some of the 1970 era costumes on display and also a cameo or two from a past actress from Charlie's Angels. Here are some films that are like this version of Charlie's Angels. First one is Charlie's Angels Full Throttle, and the Angels investigate a string of murders which occur after the theft of a witness protection database. This movie streams on Netflix and you can rent it or buy it on Amazon, iTunes, and YouTube. Ocean Saints is a female version of the Ocean franchise, you know, Ocean 11, 12, 13, let the ocean assembles a crew to pull off the ultimate heist at the Met Gala in New York City. Ocean Zane is available for merchants from Amazon, iTunes, and YouTube. No streaming. Well, they have streaming, but you have to sub, and, you know, they don't have rental. Overall, Elizabeth Banks did a good job, and the action wasn't as intense as in the Mission Impossible films, and I've already talked about the humor, but it struck a nice balance. I hope she does more of them. As always, please like, comment. I'm running out of battery, so have a great day. <laughs>